Hello again, Harry. Hello, Daniel Levy. So, Harry, what can I do for you? I've got the right raving hump with you, you bald little gim. Asking the FA for 10 million compensation, you tight-assed prick. Now they've gone and appointed someone else as England manager. That job was mine, Levy, you cunt. Or mine, mine, mine and 5 million spondulis a year for doing fuck all except a bit of foreign travel and talking to Sky. Now you fucked it with your greedy compensation claim. Well to be honest Harry I'm pissed off about that myself. I thought those morons at the FA were so stupid they would pay whatever I asked for. But they didn't. I thought I would be sitting here well shot of you and 10 million quid richer. But now I find myself staring at your droopy face and it depresses me no end. And as for me being greedy, well I suppose you are the most ungreedy person I know, aren't you? Fuck you Levy. I'm a terrific lad and a terrific player and I'm the best thing to happen to this club. We only had two points when I got here. We are one or two players short of winning the title. Even though we are down to the bare bones. Shut up Harry. You are just a mediocre, money grabbing toe rag. You even tried to screw the FA out of more money by pretending you were happy here. When really you've been salivating over the England job for years. In fact I find it quite funny how you gave it the big one and walked around for two months as if you were actually the England manager. Ha 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 you mug, fuck you backwards. Walking round like it. Was a done deal, all you were lacking was an acceptance speech where you go. All of a quiver. Except you can't quiver because you're a paralyzed streak of piss. Shame your results have been a bag of jizz and you've blown certain Champions League qualification. You've just been exposed for the shite that you really are. No wonder England didn't want you. Fuck you Levy. The people love me. That's why I was found not guilty. I am the rightful England manager. Oh spare us Harry. Next you'll be telling us you should be the King of England. Or the fucking Chancellor if you had your way. By the way Harry, I haven't seen you wearing your glasses since the court case. No my eyesight miraculously improved the day after so I will never ever ever need them again. You never ever ever needed them before either. Oh well bollocks, it was just a ploy to get the jury to think I was a bit more refined. As was bringing that dopey son of mine Jamie along every day. You know, make them think I'm a good family man and that. Well do you think the FA are maybe trying to tell you something by appointing Roy Hodgson Harry? I mean he is intelligent and has integrity and he can very much read. He is clever, he can even point to France on a map. But I was the better choice. Now they've appointed a cunt who looks like a dinner lady and sounds like Jonathan Ross. The dinner lady will shit her pants and start smoking 60 super kings a day just to cope with the stress. She'll never manage. You saw what she was like at Liverpool. Her asshole went and she went all mentaloid. No dinner lady has ever won the World Cup. Levy, I'm telling you. I don't really think the FA care, Harry. So long as it's not you that they send to represent the country, they don't give a shit. Bollocks. You need a man with balls to lead the country. You saw what Roy Hodgson did at Liverpool. Within six months he went all in his pants and became a wreck of a man because he lost his bottle. I would never do that. I stood on that stand and never once bottled it during evidence. I told some cracking lies and never once did my asshole go. Why well, could never have done that, I tell you. Well proud as you are of that Harry, I would never need to. Because he isn't a thief and so he wouldn't end up in court, and so forth. We should have a fight for it. Me and Roy. A fight? A straightener in the centre circle at Wembley, toe to toe. The winner can manage England. Don't be ridiculous Harry. I've still got some moves. The old Harry shuffle. The Harry twitch more like. Don't be fucking ridiculous. Well someone's going to get a slap over this business Daniel. It's that. Trevor fucking brooking who's behind this decision you know. Oity toity Trevor I'm so fucking perfect Trevor. He's always hated me you know ever since I stole his wallet and returned it full of piss. He thinks his shit. Doesn't smell and that he's Mother Teresa. But I know for a fact he likes great big African players with. 
big cocks who can run around all day just as much as the next man does? If not more. Fucking pompous Mary Poppins fucker, I'll show him. Oh dear Harry. Just admit it your shady past has caught up with you. Oh I could. Have done so much as England manager. I could have picked lots. Of great big African players with big cocks who can run around all day. Jermaine. Pennant for instance. He is a terrific lad and a terrific player. Harry, he just. Got nicked for drink driving whilst already banned after assaulting a woman a couple of hours before. And Titus. Bramble, another terrific lad and a terrific player. Top top lad. Who was charged. With rape. And I'd. Recall Big Soul Cambo, a terrific great big African lad and a terrific. Player. Harry. Soul. Is very much English and he has retired from football. Whatever Daniel. You. Are just a simple chairman and know nothing about the game. Soul was a manager's. Dream. A top top player. And he didn't just wield his great big African cock on. The ladies either. No. That great big great lump used to run around the pitch. All day and then run about old Compton Street all night with his big spam javelin dangling between. His enormous legs. Terrific. Give me strength. I'm the best. Manager ever to manage England. I know how Brian Clough must have felt. Harry. Brian Clough won two European Cups and in 30 years you have won a solitary FA Cup. You wanked away a massive lead over Arsenal and your team scarcely beat Blackburn even though they didn't have a single shot on or off target all match. And regards the England job, to be fair. Harry, you did say an oath that you can't read and write and they probably figured that they didn't want to waste 20 to 30 million on an illiterate mug. Who's only won a single trophy in 30 years. Now moving on to other business. I'm sacking you. Get out of my boardroom and fuck off back to the used car lot. I'll fuck off back to the car lot. But I'll be back. Oh yes I will. And I'll break into your bedroom one night and I'll have Marlon King and Sol Campbell and Mieka Richards with me. And I will set them to work on your little white asshole like a set of chocolate werewolves. Oh yeah. Top top werewolves. Fucking terrific.